Rolls breakfast and lunch. So he takes one of this and he has nuts at work. And then this is leftover white beans with zucchini and tomatoes. And I think I made this taco flavored because, I don't know. Just pack that. A little bag for him. And then he takes his tablet and his phone, his Erlens, and all that. This is coffee from Mount Hood Roasters. Um, so it's a local coffee company here, and they do um, air roasted, I think. And they grind it. You tell them what kind of grinder you have. Like, so I tell them that we have the French press, and so they do it the French press style. Sucker has a lot of dishes to do today. Exciting for him. I'm doing a YouTube video today. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'm not really this awake at all. I'm just. Try, I'm trying to. We've got two plates on your face. They get off? Yeah. No? So I, have two, two. I, I can't find any towels. I'm going to use somebody's shirt. How are you going to take a shower? Ah! Oh. Is it off now? Yeah. Just making sure. You're gonna put this in the. They're gonna put that in the laundry anyway. So, just use it. Baby girl. Hi. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Everybody. Go Zachary, to wake, wake up. up. Wake up. Everybody. Open your curtain. I'm go making a YouTube up. video. Say hello. No. Say hi. No. Open the curtain. Open your curtain. Say good morning. Morning. Jackson, open your curtain. Say good morning. <laughs> you guys gotta wake up and get dressed. We can take that to work, okay? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hi. Morning kisses. Mwah. Wake up, boo boo. Did you go potty with daddy? Did you go potty? Good morning. Who's that? Peter, I love you. Go help daddy. Go get 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 daddy. Rocking my purple overalls today. What? Every morning. They're not goofing around. Ten minutes late. You guys ready to go? Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. I give you a hug. Put the puppy up, please. Let's I go, guys. I think. Got my purple overalls on. I'm sad that we're not playing the yeah, cold cthulhu like game my anymore. My flip flops. Not, not, not next time. Are you not doing anything? No, I'm still playing a game. I just don't know if it's gonna be called cthulhu because they're I'll... still talking. They're talking about RPGs. We have to go to work. Okay, you ready to go? Yeah. No, I didn't use Daddy. the bathroom. Yes. No. Okay, go pee. No, can you grab me my hat? Your hat. I went first. Is hundred strokes a day. One thousand one, one thousand three. I Turn around, show him how long your hair is. See how he's right down. Jackson's winning though. Show him your hair. Three thousand back. Jackson has longer hair than you. I know he's got me beat. I'm still prettier. He doesn't have a beard yet, so. Okay, so uh, this is uh, me uh, going to work. I like my job, but uh, I'm still a little sleepy. It's 7.45 in the morning. It's 7.45 in the morning. We're and it's, supposed to leave. I drank all of my coffee, and I need more coffee. I we're can't survive like this. We're supposed to leave at 7.30, so we're already late. Kids are supposed to leave at 7.30, and yeah, she's right. Because I couldn't get, so it's really dry here, and the well, I guess, in our RV park is starting to get kind of low. So our water pressure is not the 
as high as it is usually, and so it takes kind of forever to kick in for the water heater. So I stood around for 10 minutes waiting for the water. Yeah. Sad panda. River, how's your morning going? Good. No, she evil item. She evil item. Look I at asked them what they wanted for lunch, and they're arguing about. Look, what they want well, for lunch. If you want to see how easy it is to start a fight amongst kids, check this out. She wants. They want spaghetti, and she wants rice and peas. That's all it took, man. Somebody mentioned the fact that they might want something different than rice and peas, and that's why that perpet that frown is there. Look at that frown. Jackson, do you like rice and peas or you want pizgetti? Jackson's asleep. Or he's asleep, I can't tell. Is he oh no, he's reading a book. Zachary, spaghetti or rice and peas? Oh no! What about spaghetti with Rice a and peas. What about spaghetti with a side of peas? <gasps> what about that river? Spaghetti. Wait, no. Spaghetti. 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 She was like, "Wait, spaghetti sounds good with peas. No, don't give in. Don't show weakness." Do you want spaghetti with peas then, River? No. What do you want? want Rice and peas. All right, just make sure you say it clearly. Spaghetti. So All right, so that's how, it is, how easy it is to start a fight amongst children in the morning. So they haven't started a fight in eight hours. Because they haven't started a fight in eight hours <laughs> since they fell asleep, so... They have to catch up. They have to catch up for all the time, of course. That but. makes sense. So, this is my commute every morning. I can't complain. I like trees. It's a little drier than I like it to Oregon to be. Like we haven't had rain in like a month, and it's starting. It's starting to like uh, we're on what yellow level for fires now. Yeah, I don't know if we passed the little sign yet or not. But. We're at yellow level for fires, so that's not good. Generally speaking, um, I don't like fires. I like trees. Um, I know fires need to occur naturally to reinvigorate the forest. But I uh, would prefer it to happen not so close to my home. So, yeah. But other than that, look how pretty this is. This is a nice drive. It feels and good. And we will insert our preparing our tiny house for natural disasters video here. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. We cause did that last summer. We did a, yeah, natural disasters that happen even to tiny houses. So, we got a video about that. But, uh, yeah, I can't complain about my drive. There's a lot of trees and a lot of mountain views. Eventually a mountain. Well, we miss the mountain. But next time I'll show you guys the mountain. I promise. I think there's plenty of videos with me showing them the mountain, though, right? Yeah. All right, so, yeah. Oh, well, talk to you guys later. Peace. It's 8.10 or so. We've dropped her bowl off. 8.06. 806. Um, dropped her bowl off at work. About 30 minutes to get from the ready parking spot to his work, and now we are driving home. So it'll take about 30 minutes to drive home. Come on, boo boo. It's <laughs> been a morning. Alright, now redo your hair. Come on. Let me do your hair. For a little while, boo boo. You're kind of crabby.
she was tired, you know. a better day now, I promise. Now, I am doing a little bit of work this morning. River kind of had a meltdown. She's still sleepy, so she is taking a second nap, I guess. I don't know. She's just sleeping again. And the boys are doing chores downstairs. So, this is usually how our morning goes. The kids, uh, Jackson puts up all the laundry and cleans the room, and Zachary does the dishes. And then I'll go down and sweep and clean the bathrooms and do all of that, and then usually another load of dishes later on. But... Um, yeah, so it's kind of a quiet morning right now. Just doing some work. Doing some social media scheduling for today. Behind the scenes. What? Nothing. Vader. This is a family show. Stop it. Gross. What are you reading? It's a helicopter about to blow away. Hey, no, it's ten something. Oh, the dip it. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Some cumin. Uh, some broth stuff. A little bit of butter because you don't want the beans to boil over. And I have three cups of black beans and I'll do six cups of water. And then cook in the pressure cooker for about 30 minutes. Um, this is for dinner, but I'm just prepping now, so I don't have to cook it tonight when I cook my plantains. Things doing one time. So this is my new pressure cooker, which I love. It's five quarts, I think. And I think it's an Indian design. So it's got this lid, and it's not perfectly circular. Okay. So what's cool is. If you look at the top, it does not fit in. So you have to. So you have to. So you can't fit it in that way. Yeah. So you can show them how to do it. You can't fit it in this way. So you have to do it this way. There we go. I think they can see that. There we go. And then you would just lock it. And you hold it down. So see it locks right there. Nice cool lock. And then it's nice and, and then when it's, it's done, recessed in there. And then when it's I'll done, take a video. I'll show them what happens when it does. And then you just put it over the fire for 30 minutes and you'll black bean soup. Why'd you wake up? What kind of apples are those? Honey crisp, right? Super yummy and crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> Do you feel better now that you had a nap? Do you feel better now that you had a nap? <laughs> I'm here up in the loft on my laptop. And Jackson is being the good kid and going to his room listening to music and reading a bad game book. <laughs> Ruin Zachary are wrestling. Oh, Literally. Help me. Help me. Help me. We'll do that every few minutes or so. It's not like the regular pressure cooker that just rocked. This one will go off and in increments. Mommy, don't look at my face. Look oh. at this. Go make me something pretty over there. Go make me something out of your stem box. I'm waiting for Zachary to be homey. You gonna make me something pretty? You making me something cool, Zachy? Yeah. Okay, while dinner is cooking in the pressure cooker for tonight, I'm going to go ahead and make lunch really quick because it's gonna take about 45 minutes in the rice cooker. So basically, I'm just going to have all this kind of going on autopilot while I finish up some writing that I need to do. New and imp. 
because you cut new and improved. Okay, so, uh, so, brown rice. Sorry for the rice cooker. Uh, or the pressure cooker. I'm going to add two cups. Okay, baby, that says imp. Two cups of brown rice. And then I'm going to do three cups of water. I'm going to add some dried onion in there. I'm going to put a little bit of this veg base. You're fine, Vader. Just for a little bit of flavor. I'm going to throw in a little bit of TVP. That was not the best. A little bit of Himalayan salt. And then I'm going to find a can opener. Dump in a can of peas on my can first. Awesome. That's what you're trying to make for me. A can of sweet peas. Okay. And put in the pressure cooker for about 45 minutes till it says, not pressure cooker, rice cooker. When it's done, we have lunch. The thing that I have is I have some garlic, some olive oil, and the juice of about a lime. And I'm going to pulse this a few times. And then tonight, you just cook it over the stove for a little bit. And it is really, really good on plantains. I can't remember what it's called, though, so I will have Raul tell you guys in the video later. Okay. That lasagna, it's brown rice and peas. I'm done with my work meeting and now we have to fly to go get our Azure Standard pickup. It's gonna be late, but uh, it's okay. We're going now. With your sister, okay? Three, four, five, six boxes. Tiny little thing of tofurkey. All right, get in the car. Bienvenidos, Internet. Yo soy el hombre con una barba grande. Esta es mi esposa, Kimberly. Ahí está. Y, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I speak Spanish. All right, um, I'm back. Kim supposedly did some Azure purchasing. Azure, Azure, Azure. Which will be in another show you the truck and the boxes, but... Hopefully she here. got me golden raisins. Uh, Alright, people. Truthfully, what's better? Your regular run-of-the-mill raisins? Or golden raisins? I prefer golden raisins. They have a more tart flavor, and it doesn't have an artificially sweetened flavor. I find them... Re better for your palate. Sometimes they taste like they are. There's like a purple flavor. I don't know. No, it's a grape. They throw in. Yeah, but I don't, it's not the same. It's not the same as a golden raisin. A golden raisin tastes clean or something. Yeah, you have to find it. I like it. That's my conceit. I don't know. I can see that it's tart. Like, are golden raisins made from green grapes? Yes. So then that would be why it's more tart. Yep. But purple's not a flavor. It tastes purple to me. If I close my eyes and I eat a purple raisin, I'd be like, that's a purple raisin. I can taste the purple. So we will do a double blind taste test to test this out in a later episode. But yes, I prefer the golden raisins. So tonight, I've already prep cooked half our dinner. I made the, what is the garlic stuff called? I didn't know what to tell them. We call it mojo. Mojo. Uh, Not moco. I, the moco is booger. Mojo is the garlic, garlicky, lemony, well, it's on, burnt goodness yeah. that is Latin. So I made that. Caribbean Latin, so it's from Cuba. And I made black bean soup. I love black bean soup. So now I have to go home and make rice and platanos. <sighs> platanos. 
All right, um, people, if you haven't had a plantain, you guys don't know this, but... I will show you how to make them. She's going to show you how to make if them. If you keep watching. But you have to keep watching. River, you're cute. You're lucky you're adorable, River. What? It's just a good thing, baby. What? What a dog Plantains. So if you've never had a plantain, now this is how my husband, who's Colombian, does it. So if I'm doing it wrong or I'm not doing it the way you do it, I apologize. But when you get them at the store, they're going to look yellow like a banana. You don't want to eat them then. They're starchy. You can put them in soup, it's good, but they're just kind of like a potato. So I buy them and then set them under the counter for about a week until they get to be like that. Like this. Like they, they look all bruised. That they, means that they're sweet. Okay. They look bad. They look like they're bad bananas, but they're really good plantain. So I cut the tips off like that. And you can like tell it's got a very thick like a thick skin in it, and then I will need a better camera setup. Kind of slice it down like that, and you just peel it off. Peel it off. I mean, but she is allergic to bananas, but not plantains. But so then I try to cut them sideways, sort of on the bias like that. Okay. I'm going to do this for all six, and then I'm going to put them in a pan, and I'll show you the next step. Got them like this. Oh, this. And I put a little drizzle of olive oil on them and just kind of brush it on there. Typically, you fry them, smash them, and then fry them again, but that's uh, time for it. It's probably not the healthiest. So, I will bake them. I'll bake it for about 40 minutes or so, and then sprinkle them with salt. That's important because then you get the sweet and the salty, and it's super good. I'll show you when it's done. Caramelized than I would like, but they're actually not, they don't taste burnt. So, uh, but if you're going to do it in a cast iron, don't cook it as long as the other one. Oh. You're supposed to be a girl. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Come on, slow poke! Ooh, now he's coasting down the hill. Oh, oh, oh. 